scientists and people like you use tools to solve mysteries and answer questions. Another tool that we use is called a thermometer. Thermometers come in different shapes and different sizes, but they basically measure how much heat will be in a liquid. Now, when you use your thermometer here at the museum or in your classroom, you'll notice that there are two scales, both a Fahrenheit and a Celsius scale. Your teacher will tell you more about which scale we're going to use in our investigation later. It's important that when you take a temperature reading that you give it enough time for the temperature to change. We're going to place this down in here and you may be able to see the red alcohol either go up or down in this thermometer. Of course, if it's hot, it's going to go up and if it's cool, it'll go down. There are many warm and cool places both in your classroom and in the museum. Taking a temperature reading is a good way to help solve a science mystery. Once you've allowed the temperature to be measured by the thermometer, you'll want to look and see how far the red liquid has gone up. Use careful observation to write exactly what the measurement is. Make sure if you write Fahrenheit, you put the F, and if you write Celsius, you put the C to measure your units. Now, you also will want to take this reading three different times. You'll do that just in case you made a mistake. Compare each reading, record them on your observation sheet. You and your team will have to decide on what is the best one to use for your data.